Marhaba ya shabab, welcome to the first part of the CICD tutorial series. And before we start, I have to mention it again. Please, if you want to follow along, make sure you have checked out my Linode tutorial part 1, Linode tutorial part 2 and Linode tutorial part 3. If you want, you can also watch it on YouTube. Just go to my channel, to playlists and here's the Linode tutorial series. There are 10 videos. And please make sure you check them out. You're on the same state like I am, because first we need to improve our Linode Ubuntu instance so we can later easily deploy something on our server. So please make sure you, you went through all the tutorials through either on medium.com or on YouTube. And yeah, if you have done so, now we can start. Okay, yalla. So, first things first, if you can remember, um, here we have our uh, SSH folder. Uh, let me just navigate into it, cd.ssh and list all scripts. And if you can see here, we have, um, a, this is our public key, our RSA public key, and this is our private key. Um, but I'm not very um, not very pleased with this because um, there's a better um, um, SSH key you can use nowadays, and this would be ED 255519. Um, it's a it's more state of the art, so I want to use it now. So basically, first we will remove uh, this um, SSH keys and generate new ones, and then the new ones we will also uh, copy it on our Linode server. So let's start. First, just jump out of your folder so that you're in your home directory. Let me just clear the screen. So what I want to do is remove minus R for the directory and re recursive. It means recursive for everything which is inside. Remove this folder. Okay, and it's done. And if you list all scripts again, yeah, it's gone. That's what we see here. It's gone, definitely. So uh, I will just copy the command. You can also copy the command from my uh, part one tutorial series here. I have already prepared it here. So basically we will just let me again clear the screen. So paste the command. So basically what we're going to do, uh, we will create a new uh, key generation will be uh, created for us. This is the name ED255519 and it will have an entropy of 100. Um, and here you can see we give it uh, a comment. This is the email address. Just um, if you want to know about these things uh, more in detail, just Google uh, the, um, this key here, ED255519, and you will find on Google a lot of things about it or in comparison to, to RSA. So just click enter. So as you can see, it will generate a new key for us. Um, it will generate again a .ssh folder. So let's press enter. It asks for passphrase. You should always provide the passphrase, so it's best practice. So basically, um, so someone steals your computer and wants to log uh, log into a Linux Ubuntu instance, even if he has a comp computer, he needs to know your passphrase to log into Ubuntu. And later we will also disable a password login on Ubuntu, so you only can log in with your um, generated SSH key. So. Now let me provide an, a passphrase, a simple one, but you should pick a complex one. So, okay. And as you can see, it, um, it generated the key for us. That's great. Let's list our scripts. Just move again to the folder, sage, list all scripts. And as you can see, we have, this is our public key with the ending dot pop. And um, here uh, we have the private key. 
And by the way, I just forget to mention, if you want to learn more about this key, you, you can either Google it or I was just looking through Google and I was just copy pasting stuff I found here so you can read all the things you need, you want to know here and or, or, or you do this. Uh, I'm currently using Bing because I'm, I found it more better than Google, to be honest, currently. RSA versus ED255.19. And yeah, yeah, this, fir this first page, it's very good here on Teleport comparing SSH keys, RSA, DSA, ECDSA, and EDDSA. Pretty good explanation there if you want to learn more. So yeah, and okay. So what we're going to do now is first things first, we want to remove the keys, the RSA keys from our Linode Ubuntu instance. So let me just again uh, clear the screen. Now I wanna, what I wanna do is now uh, sorry, I'm just looking, yeah. The SSH command, as you can see, was just going through my history. And yeah, now we will we will connect. Say yes. And ask for passwords. I just have it here prepared. You should never do this, but just for demonstration purposes, because I'm also deleting this Linode instance after after this tour is recorded. So we are locked in. That's great. Now let's list again all scripts. And as you can see, we have our, where we have it. Ah, we have to create, sorry, sorry we are, I'm just confused right now. We have to create the folder. It's on our, in our root folder, we should have the .sh folder. So we will create the .ssh folder and then we will cd into it. And first we will create the folder and this and it just allows this, this double end symbol allows me to, to add here multiple uh, commands so don't, I don't have to press enter, enter, enter. And we will create a, with touch we're creating a file called authorized underscore keys. So let me just check, I have nothing misspelled. Okay. Okay, we have the authorized keys here. And that looks good. So now we can uh, log out. You can log out with exit, what I've done here. And now what we are going to do, we are copying, like I said, the public SSH key onto our Linode Ubuntu instance. Let me just again clear the screen for you. So the command is this one here, already also prepared it. By the way, you can grab all the commands here in my uh, medium.com article. So, so what we are going to do, this SCP is, stands for secure copy. And this is the our local path in our local .sh folder. We have this public key. We are copying it uh, here to our to our um, server, our user HBP coding. This is our server IP address, the public one, and into the authorized keys file we created. Just press enter. It asks again for the passwords. Just copy it again. And it was successful. And now we should be able to connect again to an instance. As you can see, now it doesn't ask me for the password. It asks for the passphrase. So this, as you might remember, this is my password for now. Just paste it. And it says, uh-uh, wrong. So this will not work. So 
basically what I have to do, I have to provide my passphrase. And when I pa provide my passphrase, I'm logged in. That's great. And yeah, now some of you might ask if I do I have to all the time provide the passphrase uh, when I'm logged in? Yes and no. For instance, if you log out again, clear the screen. So let's say you don't want to always provide the passphrase. You just want to provide it once as long as you are um, logged in on, on your local machine. If you turn off your local machine, you have to provide it again. And the way how I, I will show you how to do this, just CD into SSH. You have a SSH agent and this SSH agent has the command SSH minus add. And we say add the private key. The private key has no ending. It has no dot pop. Just say enter, just say test, uh, the passphrase. Now you know my passphrase. <laughs> and so the identity was added. And yeah, now you can again, if you want to, I just go to the home directory so, so you can see it works everything properly. SSH again. Now we have we have been able to log in without providing a passphrase. That's great. So always with SSH minus add, like in your .sh folder, you can add the um, private key as long as you are logged in on your local device, as you, as long as you don't turn it off, and then you can turn on log in into your uh, server. So that's pretty great. So next thing is we. I want to do something called security through obfuscation. Basically, you know, the SSH port is 22. We don't have to provide it, but pretty much it's a standard that the SSH port is 22. And But I want to change it because of some security concerns. And yeah, it's called security, security through obfuscation. We are obfuscating our a default SSH port, and this is something I want to do right now. So sudo vim dot etc SSH it doesn't found it. Let's say SSH D underscore config. Press enter. It wants my password again. You're a bit. Oh my god. Again. And now we are all locked in. That's great. I mean, we are all open the file. We're not locked in. I remember with Vim, you have to press I. Now you are in insert mode. Now you can do something. Now I can delete this hashtag. Now it's not uh, commented again. I will change it to 1022. So. Da, 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 da. As you can see, we have changed the port. I mean, we haven't changed the port yet. As the moment when we uh, save this file, then it's uh, changed. And here I want to change something as well. This is password authentication. So basically what we are now saying is no. So what I'm doing right now is it's not allowed to log in anymore on my on my server with this on my server with um, with uh, with username and password. So you have to have this local key. Just let me just open again. And... I hope you see it. Um, so you cannot log in anymore if you not have this public key here in this folder. And this is something I want to do because of security concerns and most companies do this as well. And yeah, that's good for now. And yeah, I don't need to change anything else. So make sure you know to don't delete this new public key we have created 
otherwise you cannot log in. I mean, you can always log in with, when you go to the Linode. Uh, when you go to Linode, I'll just let me just log in. There's always a way like with this, I don't know, somewhere in the settings, launch this list, this uh, list console. I'm pretty sure it's always possible or you just write a support ticket and then you can log in. Uh, but yeah, so now before we restart, we have to restart the service, this SHD uh, uh, service. But before we do this, we have to check that nothing with port 1022 is running on our current instance. So we do this with sudo netstat minus tune lib. So as you can see, we have port 80, 400, this is, SSL, this is HTTPS, this is HTTP. This is, the, as you can see, the, the default SSH port. And we have our backend front end node application so we have nothing with this port that's great always make sure you check some things like this out now we can restart the service let's do sudo system ctl restart i have a typo sshd enter mm -hmm. Uh, I forget the S. I'm sorry, Anasif. So now it's restarted. But the most important thing is now you do not, please, you do not log out right now. We have another window open here. We have it here. Because if you did something wrong, you cannot log in again. So to check if everything is properly set up. What we're going to do right now is we are connecting. Just look. As you can see, this is our default way to log in without providing the port. Let's say enter. Ah, now it says port 22 refused because we changed the port. So now we are providing the port minus P and 1022. And as you can see, we are logged in. Sorry, so this is my alarm. Okay, I have to check, okay. Clear, and I hope you didn't hear my alarm right now. So as you can see, we are logged in, ls-la, list all scripts. And that's great. So basically, now we know that we did it, we, we set up the port properly, we changed the port properly, and now with the next tutorial, with part two, we can start to install the firewall. So, so <laughs> see you in the next tutorial, Yashabab. Ilalika.